This is a traditional man from Mars. His name is Martin. He paid us a visit the other day, and the first thing he asked us was, Hey, what's your recipe for making your automobiles? We made it simple for him. Basically, we said we take one body, and a chassis and a power plant. Then we put in some seats and some controls. Presto, we have transportation. You're kidding me. You worth folk have lots more than that to your cars. I could see that when I circle the Earth before landing. Yes, Earth folks do want a lot more than just transportation these days. And they sure get it on the new 59 Plymouth. From automatic transmissions to... But let me show you. Let's start off with a few brand new safety items. Like Plymouth's new transistor-powered headlight dimmer. As you approach another car at night, this accessory automatically dims your headlights. It puts them back on highway beam after the car is passed. You can adjust the sensitivity of the dimmer so it won't pick up stray light, too. Plymouth's headlight dimmer is small, simple, dependable. Tests show it should provide over 125,000 miles of trouble-free operation. Jumping Jupiter, we could drive all the way across Mars at least 30 trouble-free times with that dimmer. A handy companion piece to the headlight dimmer is the new Mirrormatic rear view mirror. At the first flash of headlights from an overtaking car, Mirrormatic automatically tilts its prismatic mirror to the shaded position and returns to the unshaded position after the car is passed. It can be instantly adjusted to work under city or country driving conditions. Speaking of mirrors, Plymouth offers a remote control side mirror that is moved by a tiny toggle control on the instrument panel. Hey, that control is small. There's a trio of safety devices in group 312, backup lights, windshield washer, and the variable speed electric windshield wiper with the improved vision the 312 package offers, any driver is a safer driver. Plymouth's increasingly popular safety padding on the instrument panel has been redesigned to offer a rich, deeply pleated look that complements Plymouth's new instrument panel. It incorporates a deeper layer of energy-absorbing foam for added protection. It's standard on Sport Fury models and optional at extra cost on others. The padded sun visors shown here are optional on all models. They're sold separately from the instrument panel padding this year. Good, gives your customers more choice. Sure. Now a lot of our Earth people like a car with power steering for easier parking. But when they get Plymouth power steering, they get a bonus. Full-time power for consistent feel of the wheel. Seems sensible. I mean, if you pay for power, get full-time power. I can see how all these safety devices are very, very important. But if I were buying a car, I'd want some extra comfort and convenience features. We're quite modern on Mars, you know. No more modern than some of Plymouth's convenience features. Press a button, and presto, the window goes up or down. Another button adjusts the seat back and forth to suit your own particular driving position. And the man who buys the Plymouth version of a spaceship a station wagon, can get this electric tailgate window on it. You can control the window with a knob on the instrument panel or a key in the tailgate lock. The power window is standard on nine passenger wagons. Well, ventilation's fine, but the Martian winter is a lot colder than yours here on Earth. So, um, what do you have in a way of quick heat? Instant heat. It gives you heat in less time than it takes to get out of the garage and into the street. This graph shows you the difference between the heating time for instant heat and a typical hot water heater, starting at the same temperature. And it's easy to operate. It has new push-button controls, and for that matter, so does the regular heater. The big news is that instant heat costs only about $30 more than the regular heater. Got anything for a hot climate customer? Yep. A new air temp air conditioner with new push button controls for easier operation. A new three speed blower that gives precise control of temperature, a larger condenser, and faster compressor speed that boosts cooling capacity over 10%. If you want one for your spaceship, we'd add the optional roof mounted evaporator that we recommend for Plymouth wagons. It puts a cooling unit at the rear 
so people in the back of this big car get as much cool air as the folks in front. Solex Glass is a shortcut to cooler driving. It really cuts down the eye strain that can come from driving into a glaring sun. Which can be bad. Listen, I faced it all the way in from Mars. But look, don't you Earthlings sometimes like, you know, distinctive appearance items? Absolutely. And Plymouth offers a number of appearance options. Like the striking new sport deck that focuses attention on the 59 Plymouth's distinctive rear end styling. It's standard on both sport furies, and you can get it on any Plymouth except the station wagons. There's a different and distinctive sport tone, featuring bright anodized aluminum and including two-tone paint available for each series. The Sport Fury Sport Tone, shown here, is standard and available only on Sport Furies. This optional Sport Tone for Fury and Sport Suburban models is wider at the front, while the Belvedere and Custom Suburban are distinctive because the Sport Tone is wider at the rear. This Savoy option includes a lower chromed strip to enclose and complete the sport tone treatment. Here's an interior styling plus, the two-tone steering wheel with padded hand grips and center bar. Smart looking, isn't it? It's standard on sport furies, optional on others. For beauty and convenience, this accessory group 311 includes wheel covers, stone shields, electric clock, and glove box lock. The group is standard on all Fury and Sport Fury models, as well as Sport Suburbans, but it can be installed on all other Plymouths. These smart rubber bumper inserts are a good example of a practical appearance accessory. Besides absorbing minor bumps and shocks, they do a lot to preserve the new unmarred finish of the chromed bumpers. Here's what they look like in back. Now, maybe you Martians don't have loading problems in a flying saucer. But sometimes a car does. Like when it's hauling heavy loads or pulling a trailer. So a Plymouth owner can add constant level torsion air. That way he adds the automatic leveling feature to the best suspension on the road. Besides improving appearance, it maintains ground clearance, headlight aiming, and Plymouth's traditional steering and handling ease. What do you have in the way of extra performance? You got dual rockets? The hydrogen pack? A four-barrel atom smasher? Well, we're a little behind you in that department, but we raise a lot of dust here on Earth. First, there's the Fury V800 with Super Pack. This engine includes a new four-barrel carburetor with new air cleaner, new dual exhaust system, new manifold, and a new camshaft. Incidentally, the Super Pack engine is standard on all Sport Furies and optional on all other Plymouth V8s. For customers who really want action, there's this new Golden Commando 395, priced below $100. It's bigger in 59 with 361 cubic inches, so it has even more punch, especially in the acceleration ranges. Put them all together and that is what I call transportation. A car designed for me. Say, um, Mac. Well, you give me on a good spaceship. It's only got seven billion miles on it. And the rockets are as good as new. Well, you sure do mean all kinds in this business. But in our down-to-earth conversations with any prospect, we find he has specific wants and needs that let us know which groups of accessories should be brought to his attention. So on the showroom floor or in the demonstration ride, we can explain that we have some options which will personalize his car make it more attractive, more convenient to use. Let's remind them that an accessory is true. It's new!